Well, in our last devotional, I mentioned the Old Testament prophet Amos, and uh, we thought about one of the verses in his book. But I want to read you another one today that tells us about the man, the man himself. Chapter 7, verse 14. Here's what Amos said. I was no prophet, nor was I a son of a prophet, but I was a sheep breeder and a tender of sycamore fruit. Then the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said to me, go prophesy to my people Israel. And so when God called Amos, he had not grown up in the home of a prophet. He himself was not a prophet. He was a shepherd and a farmer. And he was faithful to both of those responsibilities because the Bible says that there came a day when Amos was out there with his flock and he was caring for his flock and uh, shepherding his flock. And as he was being faithful in his responsibility, God spoke to him and God said, go prophesy to my people Israel. In other words, Amos, what I want you to do now is to go and share my word with the people of Israel. You know, I think sometimes we think, well, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a prophet, I'm not a singer, I'm not a teacher, I'm not a clergyman, I'm not a minister, I'm not a missionary. And so what can God do with me? Well, a, a great deal, actually. You, you know, Amos was a shepherd and he was a farmer, and yet God used him in an absolutely unbelievable way. And so I encourage you, it doesn't make any difference what your occupation is, what your job is, what your livelihood is, where you get your income from. If you are a child of God and if you will be faithful to the opportunities that you currently have, then God will give you more opportunities and God will use you right there where you are in your home first, certainly it starts there, in your school, your place of business, and you can be a, a mouthpiece for God. And by your life, by your example, by your demeanor, and certainly by the public witness that you give in the appropriate way, I don't mean preaching at people and beating them over the head with the Bible. I mean just sharing in a natural way the love of God and what Jesus means to you. You can do something absolutely fantastic for God. And so uh, I encourage you to do that and to be faithful where you are and to listen as we talked about last time. Don't let there be a famine in your soul for the word of God, but uh, take God's word in every day. Feast on it as it were. Think about it, meditate on it, apply it to your life, and let God do something fantastic through you. Have a great day.